hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be talking about different things that i've actually learned from life so different facts that i know um and these are personal life lessons these are not like scientific or anything these are things that i've learned from like my years on earth and also some things that i've learned in my practice as a therapist but i'll be doing a different video entirely on what i've learned from therapy and so with this one it's pretty much what i've learned from life and a little bit of therapy as well so i hope you enjoy this one um watch to the very end so i have some things written down and i'm just going to read a couple of them so the first one is i know for a fact that we all deserve good things good things are not dedicated to just a group of people it's not dedicated to just a class of people it's just that over time you know there's a tendency to kind of look at yourself and be like oh this is too much for me or this is impossible or it's not for my kind of people but that's not true you and i everybody deserves good things and that's the first thing that i learned two is to live while you are alive while you are alive leave i don't think that that deserves any further like you know plenty explanation it's just simple now that you have breath in you please breathe now that you have life in you leave whatever it is that you have enjoy it while you have it right have you ever experienced times where you had like maybe you buy like a really nice clothes or a shoe or something that you're like I don't think you know like this is so good to be true let me just preserve it let me keep it no wear that cloth spray that perfume like experience life go out talk to friends say tell people that you love them while they are alive while you are alive do what the living should be doing and do it right that's the second thing i learned it's like why wait for a particular time whatever you can do right now live while you are alive the third thing i learned is that memories are created nobody came into this world with a memory like we create the memories as we go and what that means is that you can be intentional today about what you want to remember tomorrow right next thing i know for a fact is that it is so important to be kind to yourself like when you're kind to yourself being kind to other people becomes it comes in. <laughs> when you're able to give yourself love it's easier for you to give it to other people and to also receive because the next thing is that the only person that you are in competition with is the person that you were yesterday not anybody else like you're only in competition with who you were yesterday so the goal is to strive to be better than who you were yesterday not about the other person or what the other person is doing it's really just about who you were yesterday and how you can be better than that person you can keep learning like there's just so much to learn from life don't ever get to a point where you're like yeah i'm just gonna keep doing whatever i'm doing like even if you're working even if you're in school keep learning you can learn by reading you can learn by going back to school you can learn by like really like immersing yourself in the job that you do watching youtube videos going for conferences listening to podcasts watching like having conversation with friends but also it's a mindset right like believing that there's something to actually learn like every day you wake up and you encounter people what can i learn from this day learning just really changes changes everything like keep learning be hungry for knowledge another thing that i've learned from life is that it's important to heal from past trauma like we all have certain things that we've gone through that kind of shapes how we experience our world especially like trauma you know and trauma is some like you know not pleasant experiences that we've had either in childhood or just in our present world and it's important to heal from trauma like sometimes i feel like we just go through life and just be like you know what it's whatever but it's really not whatever like it's important to like work on the trauma trauma recognize how it's affecting our world and our relationship because if you don't do that you're going to keep bleeding you know you bleed into the people you encounter you bleed into your marriage you bleed into your children you bleed into your family your friends your world but if we can all begin to work on our trauma one way that we can work on the trauma is leading me to the next point that i've learned is that therapy is important you know whether whether people acknowledge it or not you know we're coming to a point where therapy should be the next big thing the next in thing it is important and i don't say this only because i'm a therapist but just because i see how it transforms life and how it's just a blessing to our generation and i think that we should hop on it and that's another thing that i've learned is that therapy is the next point let's change angles but 
the next point that I have, the next thing that I've learned about life is that God is real. Don't let anybody lie to you. There's a God and he is real. The next lesson that I learned is that having less doesn't make you less. Like the fact that you have less things doesn't mean you're less. So there's really no like competition or no need to like you know do things because it's like I don't have enough like if you don't have the capacity to afford the things that you feel like are more then you know then maybe it's not the time having more does not make you more likewise having less does not make you less so the shift in perspective is so healthy and so important this might sound like bullshit but one thing that i've learned so in life is that planting is actually big like planting is important planting was necessary another thing that i've learned is that i love to travel like i've learned that it's one thing i know for a fact there are a lot of places that i want to go to and experience the culture the food the people culture is so rich and beautiful and it's what makes us human and um, that's one thing that I really want to be able to do enough of like throughout my years of living so yes okay so another thing that I learned is that it is important to forgive like forgiveness sets you free and it is also so hard that's one thing that I learned like forgiveness is so hard but yet so liberating um, so but the the biggest thing about forgiveness because i think you might have heard about forgive 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 but think the biggest thing for me about forgiveness is not just forgiving other people but i just learned that it's important to forgive yourself it's important that i forgive myself like there are going to be times or there have been times where i did things that i wasn't proud of or i fell short in you know like making myself proud i did not do the best that i could do or i missed out on opportunities and you know it's very easy to kind of hold hold on to that grudge um let's be direct or that like you know that annoyance like but i've just learned that it's actually important to forgive yourself like give yourself some grace and that's some, something that i'm learning to do over time um you know holding on to those hateful feelings really does not do me any good so i'm learning to like let go of them and free myself yes and in doing so i also want to be able to forgive other people as well and it's important to show people or tell people that you love them like whilst they're alive whilst you're alive let people know that you love them do not wait till they leave earth so another thing that I know for 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 fact is that it is important to keep working towards financial freedom like whatever that might look like for you and that's what I intend to do it's important <laughs> another point is that do not compare your relationship to other people I learned that as well like you don't really know what's going on in other people's relationships or their lives or just their experience of the world so it's important to not compare your relationship or yourself to other people um, comparison is just the thief of joy don't do it another point is that it's important to take a break like i feel like sometimes we forget like you just keep going 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 but it's actually really important and healthy to take a break like you know just take time to like distress and relax and pamper yourself once in a while buy, buy yourself something nice if you can afford it cook yourself a nice meal take a walk but take a break like take a break from that point guys this is what i had to say like body shaming is a disease and I just feel like this is such such an important point to add on here because it's not it's not like it's something I even learned something I've known but the fact that I can term it to be a disease is actually something that I learned so it's like this is not normal like people that do it need to know that they're actually sick like if you body shame other people you say oh you are fat oh you are so skinny or you do all of this kind of, you are sick you actually you actually need proper help okay um, it's not normal it should not be permissible and if you're suffering from that illness please look for help because body shaming 
is bad i keep telling myself that for a while now actually i cannot even tell you if i'm like fata or slima or whatever people would usually do because i don't have those people around me constantly acting like monitoring machines and saying you have become fat oh you have become sli-. like I-, I don't have that so if you are one of the people who would often like body shame or like make people feel like they are you know their body is not good enough like don't do it like that's a disease and you need help there are other healthier ways to let people know if you feel concerned about health the point is to celebrate your wins like if you have something that you achieve like even if it's a small thing like you go through a day successfully it's important to celebrate your wins don't wait for a particular time in your life to now say oh now i will begin to like celebrate myself like celebrate your wins right now and just reward yourself even by just saying good job or something like it's important to just like celebrate your little wins like your little achievements i found that it's actually important like sometimes you just keep going like when you're done with achieving one thing you just like move on to the next like there's no time to even say oh wow like look what you did there like very soon you're just like how can i just keep moving it's actually important to take a break and just say good job girl i see what you did there look how strong you were like it's important to do all those things for ourselves so that's something i also learned drawing clothes we are drawing clothes to the end the next thing that i learned is that it is important to set healthy boundaries um healthy boundaries are really important like sometimes people be overstepping their boundaries people sometimes we don't create boundaries enough like sometimes you have boundaries and people in your life don't even know that that's a boundary like for instance if you're someone who you know like you don't like for people to call you past a certain time and they're calling you past a certain time but you're not telling them but you're upset then it means you have kind of like a boundary in your mind that you would like however you haven't established it like you haven't told the people in your life that this is a so sometimes we, we we haven't let people know that these are our boundaries and you're crossing it and sometimes we allow people to just like overstep their boundaries um, or our boundaries that you know we've placed for them so guys it was really hot outside so like I always feel my body like burning and still trying to recuperate so I apologize if the end of this video is kind of like seeming like I'm off compared to how I started but um, but yeah just it's it's important to set healthy boundaries i feel like i'm going to make a whole different video talking about boundaries and why boundaries are important and how boundaries can really help us to experience our world better at this point i already lost count of like some of the things that <laughs> i don't know if i'm on 26 or 25 or what number i'm on but i think that this might be the last one and it says leave um it says laugh 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 like whatever makes you happy please engage as long as it's healthy emphasis on as long as it's healthy and you have to define that for yourself but it's important to have a good laugh it is always important it's healthy it helps you live better so if it means talking to that one person that can make you happy or make you laugh do it if it means watching a comedy if it means just taking time to just like happy yourself like just be happy laugh 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 problem no they finish wahala no they finish problem no they finish so it's important to just like find joy find joy in the craziest places find joy in the little things find joy find joy in the unassuming places but just live a good and happy life well guys we've come to the very end it was fun making it but then song was hot i was outside for a while but still you know i think it was a good day so I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Until then, please remember that you are a beautiful human being if you do say so yourself. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below. Please comment down below telling me um, some of the lessons that you've learned from life. Even if it's just one. I'm really interested in learning from you guys. I'm reading from you guys. And also, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. If you don't hit the button, this just might be the last time you ever see me because of the way the algorithm works. So I think that, you know, just for us to catch up and for you to always see my video whenever I post a video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can go further to hit the notification bell. So it's a bell-like icon. You want to hit that bell because what that bell does is that whenever I post a new video, 
it would notify you so you don't miss the video like so even if you don't get access to like my instagram or, or whatsapp where i post the link you would still know and also if you don't follow me on instagram you should actually follow me on instagram so we can talk you can slide into my dms and we can have a conversation so guys subscribe and follow me on instagram if you haven't already done that i love you guys so much thank you 